Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting Klamath County. It's the Klamath Countdown. Veterans, active military, law enforcement, and first responders serve selflessly in the community and for our country. But on Thursday morning, for once, it was a chance for them to be served. A hero's breakfast was provided at Java Junction in Klamath Falls, providing a free breakfast and gift for anyone who has served or currently serves, welcoming vets from as far back as the Vietnam era to Afghanistan, alongside many from Kingsley Air Base, police, firefighters, and EMTs. The event was a collaboration between Java Junction, Country Financial, and Basin Media. Robert Mulcair has been named the new executive director with Basin United, taking over a leadership role for the local soccer club after serving as director of operations for the past two years. Under Mulcair, community sports have seen a great boost. His efforts helping to launch or expand a co-ed softball league at Steen Sports Park, a kickball program, and youth arena flag football. The Basin United Recreational Soccer Program has grown over 40% since Mulcair first joined, growing to over 200 players and 15 coaches in the Classic Soccer League, and over 900 participants in the Recreational League. For many in Malin, July 10th is a date that will never be forgotten, when day-to-day -day life came to a screeching halt as news spread that Connor Hartman had suffered a back injury that left him paralyzed. Now a senior at Lost River High School, Hartman is making the best of the situation thanks to tremendous community support. The amount of financial donations and funds raised has been overwhelming for the family, while Connor is determined to live his life as close to how it was before the incident. After learning how to drive using a golf putter, Harbin is back working the family farm and other farms in the region, driving combines and hay bale wagons. A great multi-sport athlete at Lost River before his accident, Harbin plans to help coach basketball, with aspirations of participating in wheelchair basketball, sit skiing, and possibly going to the Paralympics someday. Everything changed for Merrill resident Julie Whitlatch on August 1, 2014, when news arrived that her husband Bill, a pilot, had died in a crop duster crash. Now she has found a new direction and passion in life as an author, with the publishing of a new book, Traveling Home to Happiness, described as a partly true fable aimed for children and preteens based in part on Bill and Julie's lives. From the aftermath of tragedy, she found solace in writing, turning it into a story of finding happiness and optimism in our everyday lives. The book is now available in stores and online. Well, Christmas is of course this weekend, and if your celebrations include enjoying Christmas light decorations, there is an ongoing list on our website of addresses around the Klamath area worth checking out. Also, don't forget about the Klamath Falls Gospel Missions Christmas Eve dinner from 12 to 1.30 on Saturday. Until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald News, or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.